Good afternoon and welcome to the talk on the BA Connect with Human Rights. I will start by highlighting three key distinctive features of this program. First of all, this is the only undergrad course of its kind in Ireland, allowing students to combine and study art subjects with human rights, a field that traditionally was reserved for postgraduate study. And also, it's a very innovative and interdisciplinary program. Secondly, human rights modules are taught at the Irish Centre for Human Rights, which for those of you that are not familiar with the centre is one of the most, uh, of the world's premier academic human rights institutions dedicated to the study and promotion of human rights, um, as well as humanitarian law, international criminal law, refugee law, and since its establishment, the Centre has developed a global reputation for excellence in the field of human rights teaching, research and advocacy as well. Our programme of conferences and seminars and events uh, attracts high level human rights scholars, academics, policymakers and practitioners from across the world, uh, but also a wide community of students. Uh, ranging from our undergrads to LLM students to a vibrant community of uh, doctoral students. Finally, students ha will have with the BA Connect with Human Rights to the opportunity to undertake work placement or study abroad. And the placement provides a unique opportunity to develop practical skills uh, in the field of human rights and experience uh, the reality of a career in the field of human rights. Placement of uh, been secured around the world from Dublin to London, Geneva, Madrid, Mexico, Peru, and the Philippines. So we have a national and international placements in the European Union and outside the European Union as well, depending on preferences, skills, etc. What are you going to study at the BA Connect for Human Rights? Well, in year one, in the first year, uh, students that are going to be introduced to, are going to receive foundational modules, um, which are mostly focused and dedicated to the historical development, the philosophical foundation, the theoretical foundation of human rights. In the second semester, we move to an understanding of the main international human rights instruments, as well as the mechanisms for their implementation. And we're mainly focused on the international system of protection of human rights. While in the second year, you're gonna study the regional systems of human rights protection, including the inter-American human rights system, the European system of human rights, the African and the Asian human rights systems, so that you can compare the different regional systems of protection and also compare the regional system of protection with the international one. And you will have an understanding of the complex layers of protections that exist in human rights going from the national level to the regional to the international level. In the second semester, you will be introduced to more um, contemporary issues of human rights and such as migrants and refugee rights, human trafficking, uh, LGBTIQ plus rights, women's rights, all very contemporary human rights issues that I'm sure many of you uh, daily read on the newspapers, on, on, the, on the media communication channels about and events related to these topics. That's why the motto is called Contemporary Human Rights Issues. In third year, the third year of the VA program is fully dedicated to human rights. So this is the year of your specialist. And in the first semester, uh, you have a number of optional modules from which you can choose, uh, including uh, European Union law, criminal law, administrative law, uh, Irish legal system, constitutional law, and legal methods and research while in the second semester, so you have a bunch of modules you can choose from, low modules in the first semester. And in the second semester, you will have the opportunity to either undertake a work placement with a human rights organization or study abroad, or you can also have, a, you have a third option to do um, an applied human rights project uh, um, here in Galway. In the, um, the work placement, I'll give you some, more details related to the work placement. I know this is one of the aspects that students are most interested in too. Consists of a minimum of 200 hours of work over three months, which is average 20 hours per week for three months with an approved by us human rights organizations 
either in Ireland or abroad. Uh, as I was saying, this is a very good opportunity for you to gain practical experience in working for an NGO engaged and you can do work from advocacy, research, education, policy and legal work. These are the main um, duties um, uh, which are the NGOs we have selected do, ha do have. National placements include the tracker in Galway, community law and mediation, Galway and Dublin, Simon community, uh, international placements include Geneva for Human Rights, Death Penalty Project in the UK, Minority Rights International, International Organizations Against Torture in Brussels, um, other organizations, Mission Mexico in Mexico, Inca Wasi, an organization that works with children in Peru. Um, the course also offers the opportunities for those of you that would like to study abroad and chose this option, which is open with a BA Connect with Human Rights, and this is particularly um, attractive to students that take language modules uh, when their third year apply to study abroad through their um, through the sorry the Erasmus um, study program. In terms of career opportunity, the degree this degree will provide you an excellent foundation for many types of career. Now, the interdisciplinary character of the program uh, provides you with many skills and competences required in competitive job market as it is today. Career prospects include mainly working with United Nations agencies, the Irish Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade, Irish Aid, uh, the European Union agencies, uh, international non-governmental organizations and development cooperation agencies. Uh, but career prospects are not limited to those of you willing to undertake an international career, but uh, other options include working in public administration, civil service, local NGOs and charities, community and social work. So really a broad range of careers is opened. Human rights are a constitutive um, uh, element of all private and public life today. And therefore um, the, the knowledge of, of human rights subjects and human rights related subjects opens up for you different types of career. The degree also provides a, a basis for further study, of course, at postgraduate levels, including um, our LLM progress at the Irish Center for Human Rights. It, we have specialized LLM progress in international human rights law, in peace operations, humanitarian law and conflict, uh, in uh, international migration and refugee law and policy, in international criminal law. I will conclude by saying uh, that uh, by reading you actually a student testimonial of a current third year student, uh, Sara Mitch, and she's actually only recently finished her uh, uh, placement. And she says, this course has allowed me to gain knowledge and experience in a field I'm deeply passionate about. The BA Connect with Human Rights cannot be recommended enough. The CEO code for this course is JY113 and the minimum entry points for next year is 368. The other the, all the other information are available in the undergrad prospectus uh, that you have. At the end of it, there are all my contact details. I'm the course director, Anita Ferrara, and you can contact me and anytime. Um, if you have any queries about the program, about if you want to like to have a discussion or to know more about uh, uh, the program, feel free to contact me with all, through all my the, the, the contact details that are open in the prospectus, as well as you can search on the website of the Irish Center for Human Rights. You can follow us on Twitter if you would like to have an idea of our seminars, our events, our activities. What do we do? Thanks a lot for joining the open day, and I wish you a very nice weekend. Bye.